Thank you very much, brother. Oh my God, I rolled absolute shit again. A seven and a one. That's going to be costly. Oh, you rolled worse than Darth. Okay, Ickle, cool. you're up first. I'm going to just move up and all out natural attack him. You go, girl. You would choose the only spot I could go for a charge. Thank you very much. Yeah, but a charge really isn't that significant. Uh, uh, yeah, but as long as we could do something. Yeah, that is true, because you're on your back, so you have to stand up and grab your weapon, so the only thing you can do is charge. Okay, just put that on a stone skin. Then I will five foot step out for uh, Titus's consideration as a swift. Thank you. <laughs> so I don't have to listen to him whine anymore. Well, I wasn't going to say it. Hey. I will not deny it. Oh shit, I forgot about Flicker. Oh, As he runs by, give him some cheese. Ah, oh, that's better. And unfortunately, that's all I can do. How much damage did you do, do to him? Uh, 14. Oh, beautiful. 45 to intimidate. Nice. Only 14 damage. Oh, and I still rolled a 40. You did. Very nice. He is actually cowering for this round, though. Okay. Unless someone hits him. Um. You got a 40 with the penalty for doing it as a swift? Sorry, I disconnected. Sorry, you got a 40 with the penalty for doing it as a swift action? Yep. Okay, yeah, then I guess he cowers for this round, so Darf, you're up. Does hitting him take away the cowering? Yes. The first hit for him will be flat-footed, minus two, I believe. Um, after that, he'd be panicked. All right, well, I guess uh, I'll just move around to the back side of them. I'm ready in action. They're all ready in attack. For what? For when he moves. So, basically an AO. I guess he can ready it until after his turn, but that is kind of like... Uh... Yeah, I'm not attacking, so that's the main point of it. So when, they, when the cowering round ends, he's panicked? Uh, when the cowering round ends, right, um, he will be shaken. Oh, okay. And then... And then after that, I was just going to say, if we attack him, he'll be panicked instead for the round. 
Because I think that's what we talked about. It, it won't break it completely if we hit him when he's cowering, or he just goes to pen. So he's going to flee. All right, well, then I might as well attack. Well, the attacking is what's going to cause him to panic. And then I'll get an AOO out of it, so... I mean, in any case, if you hit him with a good hit, then uh, then he will not be able to cast a spell. I mean, but his contingency is already cast. Yeah, no, his contingency will go off almost certainly. I don't know if you're planning to remove that or not. Well, I can't hit him for very hard anyway. Oh. Pretty much all mine just goes straight to the stone skin. You should get a plus three weapon for that. Oh, yeah, let's just reach into our back pockets and pull out a plus three. Good idea, Nickel. You know, I didn't consider that when I got this plus three just on my back. I'm full of them. You're welcome. Ickle only has five plus three weapons. Should try growing some plus three weapons on your on your hands and on your feet, you know? That's I, I will look into that. Yeah, like that attack did one damage to him. Did it actually? Well, you ruled a, if a hit, unless it doesn't. No, it's armor DR always counts as a hit, uh, but magic DR does not. Well, it, it bypasses as magic DR. Yeah, Just but doesn't. he's still got eight points of piercing and uh, silver. And your seven oh. points that are remaining doesn't overcome that. So does it cause him to go into a panic since he doesn't actually take any damage from it? Uh, yeah, because you attacked him. As soon as you attack him, he panics. All right. As soon as you attack him, you break the cower. So on his action, he will roll his spellcraft check. What panic means? He just flees in a direction? Random direction? Well, yes and no. I think panicked is just he can't move towards the source of his fear. He might have to move away. Um, but he would use the most effective way to get away, which would be to cast a spell. Unfortunately, I rolled a two on my thingy. Although I think that might still make the check, because I think the check was only 24. You did 14 points to him, right? Lock it down to one. I did, but he does take a minus four morale upon me on. Takes a minus four morale pen penalty. Yep. Oh, okay. Then he fails his uh, check, and that's his action for the round. I love yeah. it. So it specifically says he flees at top speed, random path. So to me, that says he can't use magic. If you actually read the panic description, it says right in it, they will use and must use magical means if they can. Panic creature can use special abilities, oh. including spells to flee. Yep. The very end. But uh, we updated the, uh, the fear rules when Titus started doing the uh, intimidate because we wanted something that was more functional and make fear less janky with players running away from everything. And I do appreciate it, especially with the removal of fear immunity. Yeah, getting rid of the fear immunity was always a janky thing. Um, that was one of the first things I noticed about Lake's game is I really liked his immunity system. I just wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. And you remember when we st first started talking about it, we went through a whole bunch of different ideas about what we were going to change it to. But I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it. But uh, once I got rid of the fear immunity, I felt much more comfortable with changing fear to be less of a total gouge. Okay, well then we're back to initiative. 
By the way, Darf, I gave you 150 hit points back. Oh, when you do that? When it was my turn that I got skipped over? In the chat there above uh, Titus yapping on. Oh, still shitty initiative. Lecture up. I'm going to try to spell magic again. Does it get bounced back or no? Are you doing a targeted to spell magic? Yes, targeted. Uh, yes, that would get bounced back. So you get to roll the spell magic on yourself. Which means that you lose any spells you have. Yep, I'll I'll do that for so Ickle can go. Um I guess I'll just attack it. There is enough clearance here, so I will do the jump thing. I don't think there's enough clearance here to do anything. Oh, is it there? Cause... Well, there's five feet of rock on the bottom, and he's ten feet of uh, ferrum, and then you need to be five feet above him, and it's only 20 feet wide. Well, didn't the rock come from the ceiling, though? That is technically true. So am I good? Yeah, I guess that would make sense. He hasn't had an opportunity to move up. I will end up provoking attack of opportunity. Okay. Well, then he will attack you. And it plant you with God. another egg. Damn it! <laughs> Crap. And you can roll your poison save. Uh, did you confirm? I did not confirm. Nineteen is not a confirm, so you would take twelve points instead of six. Poison save is DC nineteen, so you make the check. Uh, you want to roll the secondary check? Uh, second four two. Yep. All right. All right. We're good. Yep. Great. Okay. Well, it's paralyzed uh, poison, so it's really, really uh, bad if you fail either check. And I, I'm still, I'm still conscious, so we're good there. Oh yeah, you almost, you almost had a hit points too. Uh. Oh, we got it. I'll quit, quit threaten your turn. I'll take it. Uh, nope. So I only hit the one and bite. Why don't you normally bite? Uh, because I'm using the, the much stronger jump claws. Uh, they have much higher bonuses, but you can't use that with a bite. Um, I do 16 damage. Still does fucking nothing. You do 16 points of damage after stone skin and whatnot, or just? Uh, just before, so all that stuff. So I guess I only might subtract, uh, um, what's his non-piercing PR? Or So I'm, I'm using a piercing weapon, claws are slashing and piercing. But does that come out before or after the stone skin? Uh, that is a good question. Um... Yeah, I guess the DR would come out first. So you'd subtract the uh, whatever you have. It's magic silver piercing for 13. Oh, it has to be all three? Uh, it, 
you get it's got five points of magic, five points of silver, and three points of piercing. Okay. So sadly, I do nothing. Oh no, wait. All right, it's sixteen. So uh, five. So he takes six off his bonus damage. Fine, Lancer. Okay. Okay, Titus, you're up. Uh, let's see. So you beat him by the slow modifier. I know, and I love it. Um, yeah, let's attack and we'll see what happens. Keep in mind, Lex, you automatically dispel your own magic, so everything you've cast that's permanent on yourself is gone too. What are those? Uh, yeah, I failed to beat my dispel check. He was just saying you automatically dispel your own spells. You automatically dispel your own spells. You don't roll checks for your own spells. I can't resist my own spell? Nope. When you cast dispel magic on yourself, there's no check. If it's a spell you cast, you can automatically overcome it. That's why he uses the lesser to spell magic when he uh, gets rid of the rock to mud. It only affects one spell, and it automatically works because it's his spell. All right, sounds really janky, but uh, yeah, I don't think I've ever had anyone try and dispel spell turning and get um, themselves dispelled. I was really surprised you chose to use the uh, oh. targeted. All right, whatever. Because you used the area last time. Yeah, I didn't realize I would automatically fail myself, so. Nope, that's right in the spell description. Okay, did you do anything, Titus? Four damage, unfortunately. And you just you just rubbed him a little. Bit. Yeah. Scratch his back for him. Okay, what does he have to do on panicked? Well, he was already panicked last round, so he should just be shaken this round. Oh yeah, he's only panicked for one round. Okay, so he just suffers the minus two this round. Yeah. Um I did try to hold the intimidate to see what would happen, but we'll see. Forty-three. Damn. I rolled that last time. Although it wouldn't help. Yeah. Okay, so um, he took a tiny amount of damage from Ickle and a tiny amount of damage from uh, what's his face? No, I didn't get through his stone skin. Oh, you didn't? So I have to roll against a four. Yeah, look, I rolled a four. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, if he should. Um, does that in, you do take a minus two penalty on with shaken? Uh, yeah, but he's plus twenty five, twenty four. Uh, 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 I said he had a roll of four. Sorry. No, no, I just meant he has to roll a uh, uh, ten plus the four points of damage. I don't even think. He oh god! That. I was just rolling it to mock you. Same with rolling Great. combat casting. Even if I roll a one, it's still high enough to survive you guys. Okay. Oh, okay, so then he will definitely be casting his mirror image. Okay, and he will move up higher so that Ickle can't get above him. So he'll move his five feet up. Uh, then your go, Gart Darf. All right. Uh, 
That should get rid of his stone skin. No, that gets rid of an image if you make your save. Oh, he's, he cast image. Yeah, that was his action this round. Nice. Okay, you get rid of one image. Two images. Okay, then you make your second attack. So that's three images. Four images. Nice. Okay, then we're back to initiative. Not exactly nice. All I had to do is not roll ones. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you got rid of four images on a guy that uh, most people can't even get rid of two. Remember that round when uh, the best accomplishment was Ickle getting rid of two images? Oh, yay, another one. Do I really need to adjust it to negative three? I think everyone's going to beat me. I, I want to see it anyways. But no, you don't have to. What are you doing, Lex? Uh, oh, you're not at the top. Out of order. Ickle, you're up. Hold that. Uh, 30 ASUM saves. Yes. Your very last save does it. Managed to get rid of that, and then the rest all failed to hit him. Wait, slow gives minus one AC. Is that factored in? It is not factored in, no. Okay, then that last claw hits. For 10 damage, uh, which gets negated by his normal damage reduction, I guess. Success my turn. I'm sorry, what is the last one? Uh, the last one's a 32. I made three will saves and then I stopped making them because he was out of images. Oh, okay. So okay, Lex, you're up. Fly right there, Ickle, 150 points. Did you say fly right there? Yes. How are you flying? I have wings. Oh, okay. You just forget about that when you were trying to jump over rocks oh no they're not good fly i can only do like 20 feet it would take like all my action to fly up that little ledge fair enough okay then it is the ferrum's turn um this is getting kind of monotonous
I was considering taking Ickle out, but now he's healed, so that's not really an option. One magic missile would have done that. Well, um... Yeah, I think the only thing makes any sense to do is leave, because he cannot just keep blowing 4th level spells and you erasing them every round. Is he in fact gone? He is in fact gone. So what are you doing, Titus? So that is interesting question. Um, so I don't know where he is, which means I'll delay and or pass. Okay. Uh, Darf, what are you doing? Waiting to see what these other guys are going to do. Okay, Ickle, what are you doing? Waiting to see what these other guys are going to do. Okay, Lex, what are you doing? Come land and... Uh... Cure light wounds myself. Okay, Titus, what are you doing? Seeing not much happen, I will just cast Teleport Trace on myself to see if I can tell what happened. Okay. That tells you instantly what happened? Not it only tells you teleports that happen while it's active. If you're missing. Oh, he has to do, you have to take an action to, uh, to trace it? No, I think you, uh, I thought see. you had to have it active, and then they teleport, and you can teleport. It just says within one hour per gas level. Residual oh. traces. Oh, wow, okay. Um, lesser one, uh, no, I it doesn't they all, look like... You know. They all work like that. You, I just want, wasn't sure if it told you immediately when you cast it what the bearing and uh, distance was. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it does. Okay, well, he teleported to the uh, the northeast... Um, a few hundred feet. Okay. Um, teleport doesn't really work here, so I'm just going to use a move action to just try and head that way. Okay. And that's the turn. Where'd you go? Oh, you're over there. Okay. Uh, the east. Uh, yeah, I probably should have said he's north. I guess I would have pointed in the northeast direction. I don't know where I am. Um, and just run in east, the eastern direction. Okay. What are you doing, Darf? Well, I was waiting to see what these guys are doing. Titus has got a plan, so I'll follow him.
Okay, then we're back to Echo. Same thing. Lex? I'll ask how far in under or in Goblin, or if he knows. Just a couple hundred, so use that IU. Okay, Lexi just moved up, and then yes. we will... Titus. I guess I'll move up and see. Mm. Is this where we came? Yes, that is the direction you came into the cave. And you said a couple hundred feet, right? Yes. You've gone uh, about 100 feet, 120 feet at this point. Yeah. Um, I guess I will tell them that he's teleported pretty far. If we want to chase them, we can. Otherwise, might be a good time just to see what else we... If we can see if they dropped anything of value. Because they don't normally keep the loot on them, right? Uh, the only loot they have are the rings they wear, because they don't really have any other ability to carry anything. Oh, okay. The last one that you killed and got the loot from, uh, you made bank on. It had four rings, and you were like, yeah, we each get 50,000 gold pieces. Mm. Um, I could, we could go back there, and I could drag everyone over and end the, the trace. I don't have... Well, um, if they only teleported a few hundred feet, then why don't we just manually wa uh, walk them down? And if they teleport again and again, then we can... Follow that's them. true. I was assuming they could be invisible. It wouldn't just be easy as just walking in on them. I'm assuming he's fleeing. Yeah, we could try. Well, I can track him. Can I, can I see anything invisible right now? No. But you know he's still I'm... a couple hundred feet away, so you can't even see that far down the tunnel. Yeah, so next turn I would, well, I can I can see I mean, as far uh, until it twists or turns. Yeah, that's my point, is the tunnel okay. twists and turns. Yeah, so I next turn I'd go another 100 feet down the tunnel and see what I can see. I'm going to follow our tracking mantis, so that'll be our plan then. Okay, so, uh, Ickle, you're going 100 feet down the tunnel? Uh, yes, up to 100 feet. Okay, I'm just going to move everyone else back, just because this map is not big enough for what we're doing. If I meet any junctures um, that don't seem to be northeast, well, first I'll go to the spot that Titus uh, indicated, and then if I don't see it there, we can start tracking it from there. Whether it took another teleport, or if it's invisible and sneaking around somewhere, or what. 
So, Darf, you're minus 15 feet back there. All right. Lex, you're minus 30 feet back there. Titus, you are exactly where you should be. Fair. Okay, uh, Lex, you can take your action. Do I see anything to call out? Not at the moment. On your next movement, you will. I'm not leading the group. I think he was talking to yes, me. Yes, but you're all, you're already 30 feet behind the group. And then I catch up to the group. That's it. Titus is in the right spot. You're 30 feet back from Titus, and Darf is in between you at 15 feet. Okay, then it's the Ferrum's turn. And then it's Titus's turn. And Ickle is up there, right? Yeah, Ickle is where he should be on the board. How far ahead did we let him go? Um, Ickle's 100 feet ahead of where you guys were. Oh, okay. Just because that yeah. was his movement this round, he moved 100 feet. Don't forget, you can double move as well. Fair. Um, actually, I guess I'll. I guess I'll just stay here and be the intermediary for the group. So I'll just, I guess, perceive here, and that'll be the turn. Okay, Darf. Well. Double move for me is to here. Okay. Then we're back to Ickle. So you can move another 100 feet down the tunnel, Ickle. All right. Um, once we get to wherever Titus was saying he teleported to, um, I will continue scouting ahead if it's like a straight tunnel, but if it starts branching off and whatnot, then I'm going to start trying to track him, which would reduce my movement to half, but also tell me where he is, presumably. So Darf and Titus, you'd be uh, another 40 feet back from there, and Lex, you're 100 feet back from there. At which point, Ickle, you can see the uh, ferrum in the hall because you can see a god fucking awful long distance. How far away? Uh, he's about 50 feet away from me. I'm just putting him on the token layer. I had him up in the corner, but I can't access the token in the corner. All right. I will, I will call out to the rest of the group in uh, Undercommon and Goblin. Okay. And then it's Lex's go. I move a whole 60 feet up. Okay, so you're still 40 feet back from the group. Uh, yep. Then it is the Ferrum's turn. He also sees you. Alone and helpless. Nah. Nah. So he will use a Scorching Ray on you. Uh, 
Oh, what a load of shit. 19 is the touch AC. Okay, so he hits you once. Just once, I'd like to be attacked with the Scorching Rays. I was going to attack you with the Scorching Ray, um, but I think he, I think that was the round that you slowed him, and then he just didn't have an option to do that. It wasn't worth an action to waste it on you. So he so, still has Mirror Images now? Yeah, he's recast his Mirror Image um, and a bunch of other spells too. So you take 23 points of fire damage from the Scorching Ray that hits you? Yep. Uh, well, positive because of the heal. Nope, that's totally fine. Uh, Titus, you're up. Remember, you're 40 feet back. Yep, that's my move action to get there. Since it's 60 and... Do I see which way Ickle's looking, or I guess he just got shot some... Yeah, now. he's looking this way. Yeah, a bolt of fire just came down the hallway and lit it up. And he made disturbing bug noises as he was incinerated. And that's the turn. You said the stone skin was accurate, right? Uh, the stone skin is accurate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, then it's Darf's turn. What's your fire resistance, Darf? Ten. Yeah, when I hit Titus and he said he had five, I was like, yeah, yeah it is what it is. It's the only good uh, second level attack spell I have. All my second level spells are defensive. Well, that is my turn. Okay, uh, then we'll roll initiative. Oh, come on. Oh, nice. Well, that is not a minus five, though, because of the luck stone. Oh, because you have a luck bonus? Yeah, the luck stone. Oh, yeah. Okay, Titus, you're up. I actually really like that thing just for that reason. No natural ones. Uh, Kenny absolutely loved his Luckstone. He got it um, just by happenstance in the game. I rolled it randomly. And it was fairly low level. Like It was like 6th or 7th level when he got it. Absolutely loved having the Luckstone. And then when he met uh, Galvanus in the, uh, uh, in the d Dwarf Dungeon, uh, it turned out to be his... Uh, former spouse's Luckstone and Galvanus uh, confiscated from him but in return gave him his Luckstone which was a plus two. Oh fuck, that'd be awesome. Yeah, he totally lost his shit. Like, not only did he have something that belonged to this famous gold dragon but he gave it back to him and got something better. Although he peed himself when... Uh, Galvanus started yelling at him. Wait, why did he start yelling at him? Well, the, the gold dragon immediately recognizes that he has his wife's luck stone. And oh, the first okay. thing he thinks about is the murder of his wife, and he flies into a rage. And of course, they're standing there, and they're no match for Galvanus. They're like 10th level or something, and he's like a 45 hit die dragon. Checks out. What what class was he? Uh, he was a dwarven defender. Oh. I was going to say, if he's a bard, maybe he got it as a gift after he fucked the dragon real good. Yeah, well, the dragon died uh, several thousand years ago. Okay. You moved up and failed and did an intimidate. 